let that serve as a lesson to all of you. Under no circumstances are you to talk to the merfolk in my private quarters. Understood? Good. Now get back to work. And you there, prepare to have some of that fish you purchased sent to my private quarters in one hour. A nice piece of it. Hello? I'm coming in now, little Pearl. Hi! It's good to see you, my little Pearl. You're looking much healthier now that your water's been changed out. How are you feeling? <sighs> Can you please, for once, not give me the silent treatment until I force you to talk? You should be grateful I'm giving you such great care. Most people who catch merfolk like you sell them off so they can perform in crude carnivals or be eaten by, as a delicacy by some awful noble. You should feel lucky that I was the one to find you. <laughs> and like those awful merfolk hunters, you get to live a comfortable life free of hunting and being hunted. Sure, it may be a cage, but at least you're in a gilded one. And best of all, you're with me. Captain of the Burning Rose Fleet, I won't ever let anyone harm you. Here with me, you're safe. An entire fleet of ships and all my men stand between you and the outside world. One of the most feared pirate captains is at your beck and call, so why act ungrateful? I know I've hurt you in the past, but you were being a brat. So, if you're going to act like a petulant child, you're going to be hit. <sighs> your bruises have healed already. Stop complaining. You know that only makes me angry. I've been nicer to you recently. You've been here for months, after all. The beating only got us so far. Rewards are more effective with you. <sighs> Whatever. All that matters is that you talk to me and follow my instructions. I love your attention, and you need mine. Not like you have any way to get food in there. You need me to feed you. Speaking of, I'm disappointed you've been trying to communicate with my crew again. Oh, relax, little Pearl. I know you're a little unsatisfied with your current situation. And even though I keep telling you, you'd get better treatment if you just listen to me. But that's not the point. I'm not mad with you with this. I want you to get a better understanding of what you did. That navigator you asked for help? He walked the plank today. I caught him, trying to prepare for some way for you to escape me. <laughs> the shark's got a good snack today. So please, remember that your actions have consequences. Even if I'm too kind to bring them into you. Now then, move over so I can get in there with you. Really? You'd rather fight over this than just comply? I know you hate me getting in your water dirty, but I'm going to win anyways. I'm sure by now you know me well enough to know it's better to be near me while I'm still in high spirits. Tell you what, you move over and I'll make sure you have some fresh fish tonight, instead of more hard tack and pemmican. I know how much you hate that stuff. Oh, thank you! I knew that would get you to comply. You never do stop whining about the quality of our food. Okay, now that you're finally willing to behave, I can join you. Now that we can both relax, come closer to me, dear. Closer. I haven't had to give you any negative encouragement yet, and I'd like to keep it that way. 
how delightful. You behaved so well recently. I feel much better about myself knowing that I'm getting you to listen to me with offers of fish rather than threats of losing a fin. <sighs> Isn't it better for you too? You look more calm than ever. Instead of hiding in what little space this tank has for you, you've greeted me like you should, showing respect to a captain with as much influence as I. You feel nice. Your skin and scales are soft and warm against me. It makes this cold tub of water bearable. I'd love to be able to let my guard down and show kindness and love to someone without my enemies thinking I've gone soft. If they have to sit in a tank locked away in my private quarters, so be it. Your scales are beautiful tonight, my little pal. The moonlight is bouncing off of them in such an enchanting way. I'd think you were a siren. <laughs> but no, you're not even close to being the feared of siren. This water's too shallow to drown me, but I don't think you have the strength to do it. Though, you have started to regain your strength adjusting to your new diet and limited mobility. Little Pearl, you wouldn't think of hurting your captain. Would you? Little Pearl? Oh, good. I knew you were starting to appreciate all that I do for you, even if it's in your own way. How I've loved our time together. Plucking you from the sea has been the best thing this fleet has done. A lover of my own, the scales brighter than the moon. My treasure. <laughs> my little pearl. Oh, are you all right? You look like you're about to burst into tears, little Pearl. Relax and lean into me. I'm sure my warmth will comfort you. Don't move away. <laughs> this is nice. Now then, I'll light some more candles in here and get one of the crew to bring in some fish we can snack on. I think tonight we will relax in the water together. Doesn't that sound lovely? <laughs> I'm glad you think so, too. Little Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.